Why, hello. It's homeless. I'm still alive. I haven't relapsed or anything. It's just been an insane two weeks in the homeless shelter. You can probably hear a little bit of noise in the background. If you remember Country from a previous video, he is going to be the topic of probably a couple videos coming up because it turns out that young kid is a full-blown, like, I think clinical psychopath or something. So I'm going to make sure I don't name drop him or say anything that, like, gives out too much information on him. But, geez, man, <laughs> crazy. Like, four weeks ago, he was like, hey, if you have a social media, would you mind linking my, my music? You know, I, I think I could get more followers. And thank God I didn't. You know, one, that kid, linking him would have, like, doxed me. And two, this guy's insane. A um, couple other interesting things happen. Um, and I mean insane. Like... This guy, country, has no filter, and a lot of people are walking on eggshells around this guy. I have no idea how the shelter staff have not kicked him out yet. He's an actual hazard to, like, society. I'm, I'm going to tell you all about it next week. Another thing that happened, and I'll make sure not to name drop this person, he's a mechanic manager that we're going to call Miner, who ended up in the shelter. One, I think he's interesting because a lot of his stories sound like a lot of his story about how he lost his family and ended up here sounds like some the same thing you hear from lots of people with families when they end up here and i'm at a certain point where i'm wondering if just people who are very guilty of certain things don't all kind of have a similar pattern of speech and the way they present their stories if that makes sense this mechanic manager keeps getting so wasted and i think he tried to pleasure himself in one of the bathrooms and injured himself and there was just there was feces and blood everywhere it was um and i don't mean to like say the story in like a shaming way just how he acted after you know like i was in the military and i've like i've seen some injuries so i knew what was up but it's just um it's more of like a reflection about behavior and less about his like sexual preferences so i'm not going to roast him for that or anything but there are very interesting aspects to this um, mechanic manager and i, I think i'm going to tell a story but mainly this country kid the whole shelter is like in an uproar it's chaos lately because of this one person um <clears throat> so as far as editing the videos i have been practicing editing but i came across something that should have been common sense right basically if i edit my videos i don't have time to do my art because i still work you know just not very much so i'm going to show you some schizo stuff on my wall i know nobody really knows about the legend of green leaf stuff Let's take a look. Here behind me is the Great Wall of Schizo Planning. Yeah, that's where I'm storyboarding right now. So far, it takes up a good portion of one wall. Pretty impressive. I, <laughs> the good thing is, like, I don't know anybody, and the only person who's ever going to really look into my room is, like, the maintenance man, so just one maintenance man out there will think that I'm completely insane. But it's a story. Besides the building drama and working on my schizo story, um, I've just had some issues with, like, the housing and VA, but that stuff's really boring to listen to, so I'm not going to tell you guys about it, I think. I think that's just probably the least interesting thing that I have to talk about, but... Um, it's tough to get out of a homeless shelter, let's say that. That's been stressing me out, too. Thank you for still being subscribed, thanks for still watching, and thanks for the comments. Like, I know I'm so unorganized, I say, oh, I'm going to be back next week, and then... I post a little video before next week. I work with the intention of having a plan, but no plan can contain me. <clears throat> hey, and also a huge thanks to the people who are encouraging me to like continue to try out new things because I very obviously haven't really found my groove yet, and that's like uh, that's really that's really cool to hear that stuff. So about the whole editing versus story thing, let me know what you guys think, man. I kind of feel like. Generally, my videos aren't good enough the way I make them. If I don't add a bunch of editing in, like, you know what I mean? Like, they just won't be, like, entertaining for people to listen to, I guess. So I feel like I need to do the editing. But I really want to make this story. And um, I was talking to someone who's cool enough to help me out with it. Because here's a fair warning about this whole Legend of Greenleaf thing. Basically, everybody I run this through tells me it's a really bad idea. <laughs> except for, like one person and to you miss thank you um 
I was kind of thinking maybe it would be cool to do like a behind the scenes sort of thing. Like, I know I'm not even an artist yet, and this is like my first attempt to write a story, but I just thought like if other artists watch my videos, maybe it would be cool to like, you know, see somebody closer to square one struggle. Like, I don't know. If something like that would be cool. I don't even know <clears throat> how I'd organize that yet, you know? I'm, I'm just floating the idea out there. So far, the vast majority of this story work has been behind the scenes, and I'm just trying to get, like, a draft page out every week. So that's where I'm at right now. But there's a lot of work to go into a story, man. Like, I'm constantly working on the script. I'm writing down ideas already, like, hey, I need to add this into the beta or the alpha, you know, the next draft. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how useful some ninth grade dropout homeless guy is, but if there are any artists watching my channel or just people vaguely curious about how a homeless guy would even attempt to write a story, um, you know, as far as my track record with ideas and plans go, if something can actually survive a month, my god, there's a chance. So I kind of want to keep writing the story. If it doesn't sound like a good idea, though, and people prefer video editing, let me know, I guess. I don't really know what to do with this channel yet. Sorry I've been gone. I am okie dokie. Life has just been a little stressful. I've managed to get a little bit of work done. I will see you all next week. Unless I stream a little bit this weekend because I, I'm bad at plans. Goodbye.